Hi, in this video, we will see how to manage metadata with bar files. So what exactly are bar files? Bar stands for Oracle Business Intelligence Application Archive. In short, it is bar. And um, this file is compressed archive file that contains data model, content model, and authorization model. Data model is the RPD. Uh, content model is catalog and authorization model JAZN file that has the security. You can back a BI service instance into a bar file. So that, is, that means you are exporting the entire application that includes data model, content model and authorization model and subsequently restore it either to the existing service instance running in the BI domain or into a different service instance running on a different BI installation. So this works as a backup tool and also as a migration tool. So you can backup your service instance on a daily basis or if you are doing migration. So let's see all the commands that we have for the bar file. The managing service instances with WebLogic scripting tool that is using WLST commands. This is new in 12C. We have five used commands, mostly used commands for the WebLogic scripting tool. The first command is list BI service instances. So this command lists all service instance keys in the BI domain. So by default, the service instance key is SSI. That is the default uh, service instance key. So if it is something different while installing, it will list the service instance keys. Next one, get BI service instance. This command gets service instance details for a given service instance key. So you give the key name and it gets all the instance details for that particular service instance key. Next one is export service instance. This is the command that we use to export the complete uh, service instance. This command exports the service instance to a given export directory in the form of a bar file. So the extension is .bar that is BI application archive. Next one is import service instance. This command imports an already exported bar service instance as a customization to the given environment. Next one is reset service instance. This command resets the given service instance to an empty state equivalent to importing an empty bar file. So when you install OBIEE, you get a default or a sample application. So if you don't want the sample application, what you have is an empty service instance, meaning you don't have uh, the catalog, you don't have the default security uh, that comes with OBIEE, and you also don't have the default RPD or the sample RPD that comes with OBIEE. So if you want to clean the service instance, empty out everything that you have in the metadata, you can use reset service instance. I have uh, a Oracle virtual machine and I'm using a virtual box. I have downloaded this one from Oracle and this machine has OBIE installed and it has two instances. You see here it has BI and the second instance name is BI instance 2. I have all the details here so I can log in. Now instance 1 BI is up and running. All the services are running here. Uh, these are all the links here. I can click on this link and log into OBIEE. I will log into EM as well to show the security. We logged into OBIEE, the analytics application. And once we go to the catalog, you can see all the shared folders. And we have a lot of subfolders and we have a lot of report under, under those folders. I can exp expand and I can expand and run a report here. Okay. So we go to the catalog 
And what I wanted to show you is all the reports that we have under the shared folders, all the dashboards and reports. Same way, uh, if we go to the EM, security, application roles, I select the application and I have all these roles, BI service administrator, BI content author, BI consumer. And I also have a couple of users under author. Have two users under sample app role one, and I have two users under sample app role two. And uh, we have uh, WebLogic under BI service administrator. Let's jump into the scripting. We run these commands using WebLogic scripting tool. So the WebLogic scripting tool is under BI home, Oracle common, common bin. Copy this one, open terminal. This is the WebLogic scripting tool. I can run this and this will take me to the WebLogic scripting tool in offline mode. So the next one is we, we have all these commands that we already talked about. So let's go command by command and uh, uh, execute them. So if you don't know what is the syntax for each command, you can type help and the command. So this will tell you, or this gives the description, it will list all current B BI service instances within the domain syntax. So the domain syntax is list BI service instance and the domain home. So I have the second command here. This is, this is my BI domain home path. So I'm saying list BI service instance and the home path. So this is giving me the key, which is SSI. Under service instance type, it is uh, the key is SSI. Description, default BI service instance. So the next command is get BI service instance. So the same way, if you don't know the syntax for get BI service instance, you can get help for that. The syntax for get BI service instance is the BI domain home path and the key, service instance key. So this will give you this command uh, get service instance details for a given service instance key. So when you list BI service instances, when you use the command list BI service instances, it will list all the service instances under that domain. And if you want to get details of a single instance, which is single service instance key, then you go for get BI service instance and give the domain home path and the service instance key that will list all the details about that service instance. The next command is export service instance. I'll get help for export service instance. So the export service instance will give me the syntax for exporting the service instance. I have the syntax here, export service instance and the complete syntax. The first one is BI domain home path. So I have all the details listed here. And the next one is SI key. So the SI key is SSI. It is not SSI, it is SI key. The next mandatory path is the work directory. So we have, uh, we need two paths here, which is work directory and export directory. 
work directory is used uh, uh, as a temporary directory while exporting the service instance. So there will be multiple files created under this work directory and a final dot bar file be file will be created under export directory the next three parameters are optional which is app module name you can name the bar file to the name that you want for example here i gave it as sample app v607 the next one is app module description so you can describe something or you can leave it blank it's optional you can also have app module version. I versioned it as 1.1.1. And the next parameter is include catalog runtime info. Uh, this is the runtime info of the catalog. You can say true or false. And the next one is include credentials. You can add credentials. I have added the credentials here, uh, which is admin123. This is my work directory and uh, this is my export directory so let me show you those two directories app oracle have bieee migration and under that i have export directory and work directory uh, nothing is there in the in those directories right now let me execute this command i'm copying the export service instance command and let us paste the command here so this command exports all the metadata and it will take few minutes depending on the size of the content or the size of the metadata export successfully completed so let's go here and in the export directory you can see the dot bar file and the name of the file is what we gave in the app module name when we go to the work directory there is nothing here the files after converting them into dot bar file they get deleted so we have successfully exported the bar file using weblogic scripting tool the next step is to import this file to a different instance i have another instance on the same machine it is not running right now it is bi instance 2 so what i'll do next is i will stop the bi instance 1 and i'll start the bi instance 2 this is a virtual machine and I don't have the hardware resources to run both the BI servers. So I'll stop the BI service instance and I'll start the BI instance too. Okay, my instance two is up and running now. So if you see the Usernames and uh, URLs link uh, from Oracle. Port 7780 is instance 1 and port 9502 is instance 2. So I have port 9502. So in my instance 2 is up and running now. And I'm logging in to instance 2 analytics to what all reports I have under catalog. So I clicked on catalog and under shared folders, I only have two folders under that and under sample light I have some reports and some folders and some dashboards and overall I only have two folders under shared folders I also logged into enterprise manager the enterprise manager port is for the B BI2 instance is 9500 I logged in to enterprise manager and under weblogic domain security i went to application roles and under application roles here i only have three roles which is bi service administrator bi content author and bi consumer under bi service administrator i only have one user assigned to this role which is weblogic we are looking at these roles and users because once we import the new 
service instance from the first instance we will see all the roles and all the users in the bi2 instance so i have my scripts here i can go to this path which is i'm launching the weblogic scripting tool and as we discussed earlier when we are exporting you if you want any help for the import service instance you can type the command help import service instance which will give you the syntax and an example for importing the service instance so this is the syntax for importing the service instance bi domain home path is the domain home path and here if you see it is bi2 so it is a different domain earlier it was bi and now it is bi2 the si key is the same it is still ssi and bar file path is under oracle bi migration export directory and with the date when we uh, exported that and the sample app dot bar i think i have to change this name underscore v607 so let's go there it's app oracle bia migration export directory under this it is yeah it's underscore v607 dot bar and import rpd is true import webcat is true and import jzn is true so we are importing the rpd we are importing the webcat and we are also importing the security and the last one is include credentials which i am including the credentials So we are done importing the service instance it says finished import service instance let's log out sign out here click here so i'm still pointing to 9502 i logged out and i'm logging in again click on catalog and under shared folders you see all the other folders from the previous envi environment okay expand let's go to a different folder i can also run the report here without any issues so let's go to em as well and log out i'm in bi2 domain weblogic security application roles obi and pre earlier we don't have sample app role 1 and sample app role, app role 2 and we also we also don't have this other users so we got this two roles as well and other users as well assigned to this roles so we are done importing the instance which is dot bar file the point here is you can import the entire application including rpd webcat and security thank you for watching